My name is Nathan Schneider. I study media and democracy, how media platforms and networks can be more democratic than they are today, how we can learn from the past, how we can draw from our spiritual and religious uh, contexts and frames in order to build a, a more accountable media economy. Over the past few years, I've been working with entrepreneurs who are trying to build a new generation of cooperatives online, businesses that are owned by their users and workers. We tend so often uh, in the context of the internet to think of everything as radically new, as having nothing to do with the past. And uh, I find it sometimes shockingly easy to find insights and, and uh, opportunities and inspiration just by uh, uh, looking in a different place. My grandfather, who grew up in Colorado, not too far from here, uh, uh, only got electricity on the farm where he grew up when a cooperative came there. You know, when he uh, uh, was became part of a national hardware distributor, it was a cooperative owned by the small stores uh, that it served, and uh, that model shaped my family history. It shaped the economy of this country in really decisive, important ways. And the legacy of that, uh, of that work uh, is part of what makes me believe that we can do the same thing in the online economy, that we can build democracy into how we uh, create the future of the internet. New startups are trying to figure out how to apply these cooperative models to new contexts. Like Stocksy United is a stock photo platform owned by its photographers, kind of like an Uber for photos, except rather than being owned by investors far away, a small number of often very wealthy people, it's owned by the people who are actually producing the work. We often, too often, think of economic democracy as utopian, as something that's kind of impossible, yet it's operating in our midst. And if we take a moment to uh, explore that, uh, to recognize it, I think it enables us to uh, see possibilities for our future that we might have overlooked.